Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to week three. It is Thursday, September 3rd, and this is Language Arts. Now, in Language Arts today, we are starting to talk about being a bucket filler. I'm lo looking for my book. This is the story you're gonna be listening to today. Have you filled a bucket today? I have the link on the Schoolology page. Now, being a bucket filler is something that we probably already do, but we don't know it's called that. When you're being kind, when you're being nice, when you do something for somebody, when you help somebody, it can be with something that you share a toy. It could be you say nice words to someone. You can fill somebody's bucket just by smiling at them. It's true, yeah. Well, being a bucket filler is something that's, it's really interesting because you make yourself feel buck, feel better. Your bucket, we think of an imaginary bucket. Sometimes it's over our head, not really there, but our bucket gets full when we're nice to other people. Yeah, it makes us feel good. And so in the story, it talks about the ways that we can feel good by helping and doing things and saying things for other people. Now we're gonna be making a list today in our small group of things that we can do to make other people feel better and we can fill other people's buckets. Even though we're not in a classroom, you're still with people and you're with boys and girls, your cousins or your brothers and sisters and so we still need to learn how to fill each other's buckets. Yeah, we do. And so this is something that we're gonna be talking about all year long and we're gonna be doing, yeah. Now, I also want us to think about how that we do have our letters and our sounds and yesterday we started doing sign language. Here's the A, remember? A, apple, a, a, a. Put your fingers up. B, bat, b, b, b. Here you go. C, cup, k, k, k. I'm gonna go on and do a few more. This one, you put one finger up like you're holding up one, but you take your fingers and you make a little circle. And you touch your first, well, your second finger and your thumb together. And this is, and then you turn it like this, so it's looking at you. But I'm gonna turn it and look at you so you see, okay? This is D, dog, D, D, D. Then you take your fingers and they're gonna rest on your thumb. E, elephant, eh, eh, eh. It's like you're kind of doing a pretend laugh. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. That's the E sound, okay? So let's do it again. A, a, apple, a, a, a. B, bat, B, 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 C, cup, K, 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 D, dog, D, 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 E, elephant, E, E, E. Okay, that's five letters. Yeah, that's awesome, guys. You are doing great. Don't forget, rhyming is the other thing that we're talking about. You remember rhyming? thinking if two words have the same ending sound, like bus and gus. Hear that s, that's rhyming. Now if I say bus and dog, do those rhyme? Listen again, bus, dog. I hear s and g, are those the same? No, so those don't rhyme. That would be a thumbs down. Okay. What about um, soap? Soap. Hear that sound at the end? Say it. Soap. Now say nose. Nose. Are those the same sounds? Soap. Nose. No, they're not. What is which is P, and one is S, S. So those don't rhyme. 
What about soap? Nope. Those do rhyme. They sound the same. Soap. Nope. Yes, those rhyme. Okay, so we're doing more rhyming every day. We're just continuing to do the rhyme because we have to get our ears used to listening to it. Yeah, okay. Well, y'all are doing a great job. I am so proud of you. Keep up the good work, guys. And I'll see you later in small group. Bye-bye.